You work hard, you play harder. Check this out. You guys see? I'm here in Orlando, Florida, guys. I'm all the way on top of the building. And, you know, the kids gonna go have fun out there later. So, man, it's beautiful out here. Here we go. Got all my neighbors out there having some fun. You know, it's a beautiful place. You know? So, yeah, uh, tomorrow, Sunday, I'm gonna take the kids to a sea wall because all the ticket that we book is for Sunday, tomorrow, so the kid can have some fun tomorrow. All right, guys, I will keep you guys updated. Huh? Going in my room. I got a bunch of girls out there going crazy. <laughs> So I requested to change my room. So uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be moving over here, guys. Check it out. This is dope, right? Uh, kitchen. So I just talked to the lady. I said uh, I need to 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 move somewhere bigger, fancy. I don't care. I, I work hard. I'm gonna spend the money to take care of myself, take care of my family. I'll be right there. Vivian, Vivian. So this is the bedroom. It's really nice. And you got a pretty good view too though. Closet and everything. So we're gonna move out here tonight. Uh, check out the view from this side. You guys see? Beautiful view, man. Um, I love it here. Man, you work hard, <laughs> you treat yourself harder, man, you know? So yeah, uh, so that's the view. That's the view for the room that I want to move in. There's another bathroom here. This is gonna be for the kids. Uh, uh, that's the kid bedroom and they have like a, a sofa bed or something in the living room right uh, there's another room here so because what I want to do is I want to spread the kid I don't want them to be in one room right so I want to spread it all over the place you know two over here two on the other side and then my wife and I on the other side. How cool is that? They got kitchen, they got everything. Like I said, I'm gonna you know link that in the description just in case you guys. So each room have a bathroom, right? You know, just like that. How cool is it? So we're moving out here tonight. Uh, I'm going to get the stuff. Uh, the lady said for some reason when we were booking the, you know, uh, the hotel, this room wasn't available, right? I already showed you guys this and everything. So that's the reason why we didn't get that one. Dining room, fancy kitchen, coffee machine, everything. So that's the sofa bed right there. You can make it a queen size bed. And uh, I'm going to get my stuff. Come back in here, guys. Get out of here. Beautiful view, huh? Not bad over here. <laughs> this your boy, man. Um, I just want to say thanks to many of you guys for even watching my vacation video. I mean, bad trucking, you don't expect a hundred thousand views, you know, something like that. You know, any little thousand view, it's all good. Um, we're gonna be moving to the next building. Um, they that's why they have a good 
room quality and everything. I just took a nap, man. I was super tired. Uh, the room back there, they're pretty expensive. Uh, anywhere five hundred to six hundred dollars a night. Uh, uh, this one here is close to four hundred dollars, three hundred something to four hundred dollars a night. But uh, I want to go back there because it's a lot of cool stuff. You know, it's a whole separate building, so a lot of cool stuff out there. You know, for the kids and all that. And they got a pool over here, and they got another pool back there. But back there, it's kind of like way more people right and um you just let the kid go in there and, and just have fun you know i uh i just want to say this right because i i'm pretty sure many of you guys like oh africa how how do you afford stuff like this and stuff like that right um i might say the title like how to spend my bus trucking money no uh, i only have two trucks guys to be honest with you uh, Two trucks cannot allow me to be booking a $500, $600 hotel a night. And we are here for three nights. So we're going to be going Monday morning, all right? Uh, I'm going to let you guys know. I wanted to let you guys know now, even though I inspire you guys to jump into the business, but you don't want to say that because Africa is doing this. You know, Africa is sleeping in a, in a fancy hotel. You got a sun, sun, whatever on the other side so because I'm sleeping in a fancy hotel so you want to do the same thing right that's totally up to you you know my whole life I've been working really hard I, I do nothing but hard work you know and so it get to the point I feel like I need to treat myself I need to to do something you know I don't care how much it's gonna cost me you know what I'm saying because you only live once right I have other property back home in Africa, and I have some other rental property. And speaking of rental property, I want to make a separate video to be able to share with you guys how you can jump into something like that, how you can use your bus trucking money and put it into something that will last forever. Because the bus trucking, uh, you never know. Bus trucking can slow down anytime. When I say slow down, it means that driver can quick on you. You know, your driver quit on you and stuff like that. And then you're going to have to park the truck for a little while until you get another driver, right? So in the meantime, you're not making money. But when you jump into the rental property, you're going to be making money no matter what. You know, so I'm going to come out with a separate video to, to explain uh, step by step how you can get into the rental property for cheap. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a handy guy. I fix anything. If you bring a brand new toilet, I will install that for you. So getting into the rental property is something that it worked out for me. I, I'm, I'm able to, to, to buy something and put it in my rental property and not have to pay somebody to, to, to do it for me, right? So all of this stuff, and like I said, man, I've been, I've been working really hard. I, I work hard, I establish a lot of stuff, and I feel like, yeah, let me do something, you know, maybe twice a year take a nice vacation three day vacation in a nice hotel go visit nice places it's way more than you know it's, it's good it's good to me it's, it's enough three day vacation right so a uh, couple weeks ago we were we were at the uh, Wilmington Beach in North Carolina we were out there for I think two days or three days I think it's two days if I'm not mistaken all right so you know next vacation who knows all right, I can't plan anything right now because you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. But I just want to let you guys know, if you have one bad stroke, do not go out there spending your money thinking because I'm out here doing it. You need to save that money so you'll be able to, to, to increase your business. Take your business to the next level, okay? Take your business to the next level. One bad stroke is too early to be, to be uh, uh, spending a lot of money out of one bad stroke. Even two bad stroke is too early for that. Because this truck, when it breaks down, you need money to, to, to fix it or you need money to, to, to do something, right? So you definitely want to, to save your money. I'm not saying do not take a vacation. What am I showing you the vacation for? I'm showing you that so you'll be able to, to take care of your family. But you want to, to limit yourself to, you know, to your budget. You don't want to go over your budget. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to spend money that you cannot afford. 
to me i'm out here doing this it's not like i'm gonna do this all the time like i said it's just once in a while okay it's something that i plan you know i uh, plan to do this i put money to the side for that for a long time so things like that you can spoil yourself and uh, like i said i'm not gonna do that all the time because i cannot afford that all right so uh i'm out, i'm about to move to the next room uh next building let's say and then I just want to say thanks to you guys, man. Thanks for watching my uh, my vacation video, all my little whatever video out there. I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just don't want to be dropping all kinds of video all the time. I want to make sure I got information for you guys. But I got nothing but love for y'all, man. You guys stay safe out right there. And for those of y'all who already started this business, keep in mind, the slow season is still rolling right now until August, September, then we're going to start getting busy, right? So you don't want to feel discouraged if you're not making a lot of money. If I'm making six, $7,000 a week, I'm in the business for a while now. I know how to get around stuff. So it's going to take a while for you to be able to build that experience. So you don't have the experience right now. All you got is the driving and you're even struggling with the driving. You're even struggling to stay awake at night. Because I got people asking me questions, how do you do you stay awake at night? All that little stuff, you have to train your brain, uh, you know, doing things like that. You know what I'm saying? You have to train your body to get used to that type of that type of things that we're doing out there. Driving and, 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 and oh my God, okay. So all that little thing, right? You got to train your body for that, you know. So in the meantime, just go easy. Do not... Do not go too hard on yourself. All right, the busy season is coming down the road. All right, guys, I got number law for you once again. You guys stay safe back there. Yeah, that was a nice one, man. Your boy's out of here, man. I just got. I just don't put in everything in the in the truck moving to the other building. <laughs> Isn't that cool, right, guys? <laughs> it's gonna be a beautiful day guys it's gonna be here all day with the kids oh my god so yeah oh sorry <laughs> the kids don't want to go home guys that's crazy right uh i am about to get out of here the kids don't want to get out of here man i don't know why and i'm super tired i've been here all day uh i was in the water i got out of the water and i've been walking around watching them and all that cool stuff but yeah that's your boy man i just wanted to share this moment with you guys the vacation time with the family it's very important to 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 work hard and also important to, to to take care of yourself life is too short if you can afford it go for it do not it's, it's never going to be the the, you know, the right moment for anything man to be honest with you you just have to go for it all right peace and love